So let me take you back to the EPIC project. This is something that I did with my students after reading the EPIC poem, the Homer, uh, the Odyssey by Homer. And just the way that the students were uh, able to showcase their newfound knowledge of, of the book's epithets and themes and literary devices and, and poetic elements was nothing short of amazing. They created websites that breathe life into the story and talk show interviews, both live and recorded, that brought the characters to life uh, and, and musicals and even live musicals in class. And they developed soundtracks that, that transported us into the setting and the emotional journeys of the characters. And they did reader theater performances that made us feel like we were part of the Odyssey ourselves. And they had creative writing pieces and artwork that just reimagined the story and their learning. In fact, I have a piece of artwork here in my office that I'm staring at right now from one of the projects that my students did. And to me, it showed how much they were able to grasp the concepts and the skills that I taught them because they were able to make it relevant to their own lives. And this, this success, the key to this particular success was giving them the opportunity to do so, giving them options, giving them voice and giving them choice, all because I was implementing culturally responsive teaching practices. 